with Am Amadou Gallo Fall, and we're at the Harvard Africa Business Conference. So I wanted to uh, speak to you, Amadou, about your story, how you came from Senegal to the U.S. and now back to Africa. All through, through sports. You know, I, was, I had the good fortune of meeting a gentleman from the Peace Corps um, many years ago. He saw me play and he came back, you know, made a connection with the University of the District of Columbia in D.C. and I was offered a scholarship to come there and play basketball and, and I studied biology. Uh, my goal was to go to medical school and then, you know, join an organization like uh, Medicine Sans Frontières. But I was very inspired by what they were doing uh, growing up in terms of just, you know, offering relief and having an impact in communities that they necessarily didn't have that's not where they were from, but it's just to, to speak to the, um, you know, humanity in terms of using medicine to impact uh, communities. I was always passionate and interested about Africa and its development. Um, so I thought healthcare and medicine was, you know, an area that was greatly needed. But as I journeyed through sports, I realized very rapidly that you know, actually sports was an unbelievable tool that could be leveraged to impact socioeconomic development. Because based on my own story, how I just stumbled into basketball, that carried me to, through schools, um, and then all the people I have met uh, through the game of basketball and having, a, you know, an opportunity to work in the NBA at the Dallas Mavericks for 12 years, going back and forth on the continent, you know, just and being able to impact young people um, led me to, you know, think about how could we best leverage, you know, uh, my story and some other individuals who, through the game of basketball, have managed to achieve uh, for themselves. How could we maybe, you know, uh, bring that to impact our community at large? So, obviously, then I started seed as a foundation, sports for education and economic development, to do just that, you know, put young people on a path to success through education and basketball. And then, you know, obviously working at the Mavs for 12 years uh, allowed me to, you know, uh, have a front row seat in terms of building a sports franchise and all the benefits that come with it, you know, all of a sudden the team you know, and the response that it gets in the con in, in, in the city and the role it has, and also you could see the economic, you know, power that it could generate. So all these reaffirm uh, what I saw in the power of sport, and I endeavored to figure out a way to, you know, use it back in Africa to impact, you know, young people there and impact social economic development. So this is why when the NBA decided to open an office in Johannesburg to launch NBA Africa and you know, uh, look for me to you know, lead the charges, I didn't hesitate one second. So we've been in Johannesburg since uh, May 2010 to really you know, build the NBA business. Uh, obviously it had to start from growing the game, focusing at a grassroots level. And what was most exciting for me is the opportunity to use the game uh, and also the celebrity of the NBA brand to impact young people, to do a lot of, uh, you know, good social responsibility uh, focus programs, but at the same time growing a business. And how many countries right now are you in Africa? We're based in Johannesburg. We really literally you know, have our eyes on the entire continent, but we have to be very strategic and focus on five countries at the beginning. But those five have grown to probably ten right now. But we, we, we travel a lot, you know. So when we first opened the office, we were focusing on, obviously, South Africa, where we're, where we're based, Angola, Nigeria, Kenya, and Senegal. But very rapidly, we've, you know, been looking at places like... Uh, uh, Cameroon, you know, DRC, even Cote d'Ivoire. Now we, you know, having some plans in the, in North Africa. Tunisia hosting, for example, the next African Championship in in, in, in August. And through basketball, our borders, obviously, we cover a lot of countries. But we have over 35 countries that have participated 
up to this point. We're you know sending the best young 18 and under uh, players, and also you know some of the top you know uh, girl players to come and you know receive instruction in basketball. But at the same time, um, you know we bring role model to impart uh, life-changing you know uh, skills. You know, you know because all the those that are attributed to the values of our game, which teaches young people to be perseverant, to be hard workers, to be disciplined, to learn to work as a team. Uh, those are important lessons that all successful people have in common. And that's what we try to achieve through the game of basketball. It's amazing. It's amazing stuff. And uh, it's great for you. Thank you so much for being here today. I know that you have a busy schedule and have to uh, run off and everything now, but thank you so much again for everything. Great to be here. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thanks.